What's up, fam? Okay, back on my bullshit. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. Today, I just wanted to talk about uh the importance of a schedule because recently I have gotten off my schedule and it has not been great. I have been going to bed at like 3 a.m. for the past week, man, and then I wake up at like seven and I'm dying, and then I chug coffee. And I go like, you know, I'm back, I'm back to it. I can get through work, but then I get tired in the afternoon and I'm like, ah, so I drink another coffee and I'll start crashing by the time I get back home. And I'm like, damn, dude, I got a whole nother four hours. These are my four hours. I don't want to waste them. So I'll drink another coffee. (laughs) It's just a problem, right? Uh, I haven't been able to be as productive as I usually am. Right. Um, I don't think that's been so bad because I've been doing cool stuff. Right. Like, uh, I recently just started trying to learn how to actually play my freaking guitar that I've had for like years now. So that's good. But yeah, I mean, be careful, right? Um, I haven't been working on any of my business stuff for the past week, right? I've been, I've been, uh, been continuing to learn more. I I sort of stopped reading this book. I was reading Art of the Deal by Trump, but that's for other reasons. If you've been looking at the news, um, I just, I don't know if I want to keep reading it. Um, Oh yeah. Um, That's really it. It's just make sure that you've got a schedule. There's an important, I guess the reason why a schedule is important is that it gives your body uh, a time to adjust, right? A time to be ready to do something, right? Um, I know that our, that we function better whenever we are in regular sunlight. That's just something that biologically has made sense for us for years. Obviously, like we want to be out and about during the sun, during the daytime, whenever we can see things, whenever things are safe. Uh, whenever it gets to nighttime, that's when we hide and rest and do our thing, right? Like uh, that's when we need to rest back up. So most of the time, I don't know if you've ever noticed, this also goes along with like willpower and these things. But if you wake up in the morning, most of the time you can do more things that you wouldn't want to do in the morning, right? Like that's the morning grind time. Like if uh, that's where you, I think you should hit your struggles. You should try to do the things that you struggle with first in the day, right? Because that's when you have the most willpower, right? And that way you can save things that are easier for you to do, things that you know that you would do no matter what uh, towards the end whenever you're tired and, you know, you know, just want to chill out and relax, right? So that's uh, that's the way I see it. Like, I know that there's some people that are super analytical and they'll wake up and they'll be like, all right, I got to do my creative work because this is whenever I got time to do it, right? This is whenever I feel uh, the most ready to do or use that side of my brain. Or if you're very creative, then like when you wake up, you probably want to start doing accounting or something, <laughs> you know, that you, your stuff that you need to get done. Uh, that's basically the idea. That's one, that's one good reason, right? Uh, another good reason, I guess, is that it, it lets you start planning out your time in advance, right? So if I'm working on uh, a project, right? And I know that every single day I have four hours where I have work time, right? And usually I schedule that time out to have like, you know, some amount of time to read, some amount of time to uh, just work on my business. Some time, some, some amount of time to just goof around and, you know, still try to live. <laughs> um, if you know those things, then like whenever a change comes, right? Like say you have to go somewhere, say you, uh, you planning to go on a trip, uh, you can start adjusting your buckets, right? And making sure that you're using your time efficiently to get anything that you need to get done, uh, finished, right? In the time allotted, you can start looking at your time boxes, right? I, th- I know it's a whole methodology that they use in corporate structures. They call it scrum, uh, such a safe, agile. There's lots of these systems, right? Uh, but they do all have this core tenant belief that you should have a time box just so that way you actually are striving towards some sort of reasonable time, right? Because if you aren't putting a time limit on anything, then you can just keep pushing it off. You can keep pushing it off to the next day, to the next day, to the next day. I think you've heard that. You've all heard that, right? So that's what I've got so far. Uh, get back on the horse. Uh, when you get out of your schedule, uh, try your best to get back into it. Uh, I did not do a good job of that all this week, but I'd also been very tightly wound through like the entire last month, I think, or like two months, honestly. So I let myself take this week off. Don't let me take any more off, though. I'm going to get back to it after this weekend, I think. Uh, I might start today by just going to bed early and waking up early so I can get some stuff done. But, yeah, that's the idea. Keep a schedule. I hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, Peace.